Hi, I'm Todd Heikamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, the story of the summer continues this past week, and that has to do with the weather. The weather's been less than ideal, to say the least, here in eastern South Dakota. But guys that have gone out have had reasonable success. In the northeastern part of the state, the lakes that have been producing fish continue to be some of the same ones we've talked about all summer long. They include uh, Dry Lake by Clark. Also Bitter. Guys continue to catch fish out of Bitter, but you have to sort quite a few, uh, quite a bit to get those nice walleyes. Also Pius has been continuing to produce uh, fish up there. Uh, enemy Swim, Opens, Goose, and then also Reed, which is just southwest of the town of Bradley, has been producing some really nice walleyes in that location. Also in the southeastern part of the state, uh, Dry Lake continues to do really well out there. It's amazing how many walleyes have been brought out of that lake this past year. And then also some of the other lakes include uh, Thompson, 81 Ponds, Sinai, as well as Twin. And the action there has been fair, uh, to say the least, and then a few walleyes being caught at Vermilion. Now what have they been using? Now, a lot of guys are still using spinners with uh, minnows and crawlers. Also guys are uh, pulling uh, crankbaits and then also throwing uh, crankbaits into the shallows as well as jigs and swim baits. Well one positive thing about the cooler weather it has really dropped the water temperatures around the area and that has kind of turned on the perch bite in many locations. Guys are coming away with uh, some nice perch at Big Stone. Uh, Pius really doing well for perch up there and remember you have to have the uh, tribal license up there to, to fish Pius. Also Bitter, Thompson, Sinai all doing fairly well for perch and then also uh, Twin and 81 Ponds. What have they been using? Uh, a lot of wax worms, also maggots, and then also small minnows have been the, the really uh, the thing to the bait to use. And then also uh, crappies, guys are continuing to do well for crappies at Thompson, also at Reeds and Pickerel. What have they been using? Mainly uh, small minnows, also a few wax worms occasionally, and then any type of small jig. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into the monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Well folks, a couple of things I want to bring to your attention. First off, as you can see right here, we got plenty of ice fishing equipment in this past week. We have Markham Electronics, Strike Master Augers, as well as Otter Shacks. Stop on by or give us a call to find out what's new for the upcoming ice season. Second of all, what a better way to kick off the up upcoming ice season than to attend the 6th Annual Dakota Angler Ice Institute on November 7th and 8th at the gym at Central Baptist Church here in Sioux Falls. Tickets are available online as we speak. $15 for one day, $25 for both days. And remember, that includes door prizes as well as your food. So don't miss out. Get your tickets now before it's too late because it could be a sellout. Again, November 7th and 8th, the 6th Annual Dakota Angler Ice Institute. Well, folks, that's this week's uh, version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we see around here, fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it.